I am very particular about what I'll do and what I won't do. Um, and commercially, like people just want a certain level of quality. And I can do it. So it's going to be a great year. Yeah. You're able to distinguish between commercial and creative. Yeah. Or maybe before you looked at everything as creative. And so you turn yeah. out commercial. And there's a creative aspect, but at the end of the day, it's like a company needs, like they have guidelines that, and <laughs> yeah. stuff has to fit within it. Yeah. Unless it's like something new. But then it's like maybe, you know, there have been a few times where uh, a company has come to me wanting this particular thing. And then I come back and say, well, what if you did it this way? Do you think that would be better because of A, B, and C? And then ended up charging more, and then they ended up getting something better than what they originally thought, which that was that was a really cool experience. That's, that had never happened before. But it just seems so obvious to me. Like, yeah, wouldn't you want to have photos highlighting the personality of your people versus, like, everybody posing the same exact way? Which, this is not like a new thing. It's not like I invented yeah. that. But it's, but it's learning to storytell that. It's yes. learning to talk to your client about that. Yeah. Like, uh, people, something I'm amazed by, people will spend a half a million dollars to sponsor the Preds, and then they'll spend five grand on their website. When the reason yeah. they sponsored the Preds was to get more people to go to their website. Which is a $5,000 website. Yeah. But they'll spend a half a million to sponsor the Preds. And, and they don't even think there's anything wrong with spending 5000 People undervalue and overvalue certain things in, in very odd ways. Yeah. Um, and having a conversation with them about that, whether they listen or not, is always a really healthy thing. 